A Belinsky Kalatnikov Lifshitz BKL singularity is a model of the dynamic evolution of the universe near the initial singularity, described by an anisotropic, chaotic solutions of the Einstein field equations of gravitation. According to this model, the universe is chaotically oscillating around a gravitational singularity in which time and space become equal to zero. This singularity is physically real in the sense that it is a necessary property of the solution, and will appear also in the exact solution of those equations. The singularity is not artificially created by the assumptions and simplifications made by the other special solutions such as the friedman lemaitre robertson walker quasi-isotropic, and Kastner solutions. The picture developed by BKL has several important elements. These are Near the singularity the evolution of the geometry at different spatial points decouples so that the solutions of the partial differential equations can be approximated by solutions of ordinary differential equations with respect to time for appropriately defined spatial scale factors. This is called the BKL conjecture. For most types of matter the effect of the matter fields on the dynamics of the geometry becomes negligible near the singularity. Or, in the words of John Wheeler, matter doesn't matter. Near a singularity. The original BKL work posed a negligible effect for all matter but later they theorized that stiff matter equation of state P equals epsilon equivalent to a massless scalar field can have a modifying effect on the dynamics near the singularity. The ordinary differential equations which describe the asymptotics are those which come from a class of spatially homogeneous solutions which constitute the mixmaster dynamics, a complicated oscillatory and chaotic model that exhibits properties similar to those discussed by BKL. The study of the dynamics of the universe in the vicinity of the cosmological singularity has become a rapidly developing field of modern theoretical and mathematical physics. The generalization of the BKL model to the cosmological singularity in multidimensional Kaluza -Klein type cosmological models has a chaotic character in the spacetimes whose dimensionality is not higher than 10, while in the spacetimes of higher dimensionalities a universe after undergoing a finite number of oscillations enters into monotonic Kastner type contracting regime. The development of cosmological studies based on superstring models has revealed some new aspects of the dynamics in the vicinity of the singularity. In these models, mechanisms of changing of Kastner epochs are provoked not by the gravitational interactions but by the influence of other fields present. It was proved that the cosmological models based on six main superstring models plus d equals 11 supergravity model exhibit the chaotic BKL dynamics towards the singularity. A connection was discovered between oscillatory BKL-like cosmological models and a special subclass of infinite-dimensional Lie algebras, the so-called hyperbolic KAC Moody algebras. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Introduction. The basis of modern cosmology are the special solutions of the Einstein field equations found by Alexander Friedman in 1922 to 1924. The universe is assumed homogeneous space has the same metric properties measures in all points and isotropic space has the same measures in all directions. Friedman's solutions allow two possible geometries for space, closed model with a ball-like, outwards-bowed space positive curvature and open model with a saddle-like, inwards-bowed space negative curvature. In both models, the universe is not standing still, it is constantly either expanding becoming larger or contracting shrinking, becoming smaller. This was confirmed by Edwin Hubble who established the Hubble redshift of receding galaxies. The present consensus is that the isotropic model, in general, gives an adequate description of the present state of the universe, however, isotropy of the present universe by itself is not a reason to expect that it is adequate for describing the early stages of universe evolution. At the same time, it is obvious that in the real world homogeneity is, at best, only an approximation. Even if one can speak about a homogeneous distribution of matter density at distances that are large compared to the intergalactic space, this homogeneity vanishes at smaller scales. On the other hand, the homogeneity assumption goes very far in a mathematical aspect, it makes the solution highly symmetric which can impart specific properties that disappear when considering a more general case. Another important property of the isotropic model is the inevitable existence of a time singularity. Time flow is not continuous, but stops or reverses after time reaches some very large or very small value. Between singularities, time flows in one direction, away from the singularity arrow of time. 
In the open model, there is one time singularity so time is limited at one end but unlimited at the other, while in the closed model there are two singularities that limit time at both ends the Big Bang and Big Crunch. The only physically interesting properties of spacetimes such as singularities are those which are stable, i.e., those properties which still occur when the initial data is perturbed slightly. It is possible for a singularity to be stable and yet be of no physical interest. Stability is a necessary but not a sufficient condition for physical relevance. For example, a singularity could be stable only in a neighborhood of initial data sets corresponding to highly anisotropic universes. Since the actual universe is now apparently almost isotropic such a singularity could not occur in our universe. A sufficient condition for a stable singularity to be of physical interest is the requirement that the singularity be generic or general. Roughly speaking, a stable singularity is generic if it occurs near every set of initial conditions and the non-gravitational fields are restricted in some specified way to physically realistic fields so that the Einstein equations, various equations of state, etc., are assumed to hold on the evolved spacetimes. It might happen that a singularity is stable under small variations of the true gravitational degrees of freedom, and yet it is not generic because the singularity depends in some way on the coordinate system, or rather on the choice of the initial hypersurface from which the spacetime is evolved. For a system of nonlinear differential equations, such as the Einstein equations, a general solution is not unambiguously defined. In principle, there may be multiple general integrals, and each of those may contain only a finite subset of all possible initial conditions. Each of those integrals may contain all required independent functions which, however, may be subject to some conditions e.g., some inequalities. Existence of a general solution with a singularity, therefore, does not preclude the existence of other additional general solutions that do not contain a singularity. For example, there is no reason to doubt the existence of a general solution without a singularity that describes an isolated body with a relatively small mass. It is impossible to find a general integral for all space and for all time. However, this is not necessary for resolving the problem, it is sufficient to study the solution near the singularity. This would also resolve another aspect of the problem, the characteristics of spacetime metric evolution in the general solution when it reaches the physical singularity, understood as a point where matter density and invariance of the Riemann curvature tensor become infinite. Topic. Existence of physical time singularity One of the principal problems studied by the Landau group to which BKL belong was whether relativistic cosmological models necessarily contain a time singularity or whether the time singularity is an artifact of the assumptions used to simplify these models. The independence of the singularity on symmetry assumptions would mean that time singularities exist not only in the special, but also in the general solutions of the Einstein equations. It is reasonable to suggest that if a singularity is present in the general solution, there must be some indications that are based only on the most general properties of the Einstein equations, although those indications by themselves might be insufficient for characterizing the singularity. A criterion for generality of solutions is the number of independent space coordinate functions that they contain. These include only the physically independent functions whose number cannot be reduced by any choice of reference frame. In the general solution, the number of such functions must be enough to fully define the initial conditions distribution and movement of matter, distribution of gravitational field at some moment of time chosen as initial. This number is 4 for an empty vacuum space, and 8 for a matter and or radiation-filled space. Previous work by the Landau group reviewed in led to the conclusion that the general solution does not contain a physical singularity. This search for a broader class of solutions with a singularity has been done, essentially, by a trial and error method, since a systematic approach to the study of the Einstein equations was lacking. A negative result, obtained in this way, is not convincing by itself. A solution with the necessary degree of generality would invalidate it, and at the same time would confirm any positive results related to the specific solution. At that time, the only known indication was related to the form of the Einstein equations written in a synchronous frame, that is, in a frame in which the proper time x0 equals t is synchronized throughout the whole space, in this frame the space distance element dl is separate from the time interval dt. The Einstein equation 
Written in synchronous frame gives a result in which the metric determinant g inevitably becomes zero in a finite time irrespective of any assumptions about matter distribution. This indication, however, was dropped after it became clear that it is linked with a specific geometric property of the synchronous frame, the crossing of time line coordinates. This crossing takes place on some encircling hypersurfaces which are four-dimensional analogues of the caustic surfaces in geometrical optics. G becomes zero exactly at this crossing. Therefore, although this singularity is general, it is fictitious, and not a physical one, it disappears when the reference frame is changed. This, apparently, removed the incentive among the researchers for further investigations along these lines. However, the interest in this problem waxed again in the 1960s after Penrose published his theorems that linked the existence of a singularity of unknown character with some very general assumptions that did not have anything in common with a choice of reference frame. Other similar theorems were found later on by Hawking and Jarich. See Penrose Hawking singularity theorems. This revived interest in the search for singular solutions. Topic: <laughs> Generalized homogeneous solution. In a space that is both homogeneous and isotropic, the metric is determined completely leaving free only the sign of the curvature. Assuming only space homogeneity with no additional symmetry such as isotropy leaves considerably more freedom in choosing the metric. The following pertains to the space part of the metric at a given instant of time t assuming a synchronous spacetime reference system so that t is the same synchronized time for the whole space. Homogeneity implies identical metric properties at all points of the space. An exact definition of this concept involves considering sets of coordinate transformations that transform the space into itself, i.e. leave its metric unchanged, if the line element before transformation is d l 2 equals gamma alpha beta x 1 x 2 x 3 D x alpha D x beta display style DL carrot 2 equals gamma underscore alpha beta left x carrot 1 x carrot 2 x carrot 3 right DX carrot alpha DX carrot beta then after transformation the same line element is D l 2 equals gamma alpha beta x 1 x 2 x 3 d x alpha d x beta Display style DL carrot two equals gamma underscore alpha beta left x carrot prime one x carrot prime two x carrot prime three right dx carrot prime alpha dx carrot prime beta with the same functional dependence of gab on the new coordinates. For a more theoretical and coordinate independent definition of homogeneous space, see homogeneous space. A space is homogeneous if it admits a set of transformations a group of motions that brings any given point to the position of any other point. Since space is three-dimensional the different transformations of the group are labeled by three independent parameters. In Euclidean space the homogeneity of space is expressed by the invariance of the metric under parallel displacements translations of the Cartesian coordinate system. Each translation is determined by three parameters the components of the displacement vector of the coordinate origin. All these transformations leave invariant the three independent differentials dx, di, dz from which the line element is constructed. In the general case of a non-Euclidean homogeneous space, the transformations of its group of motions again leave invariant three independent linear differential forms, which do not, however, reduce to total differentials of any coordinate functions. These forms are written as e alpha a d x alpha display style e underscore alpha caret a dx caret alpha where the latin index a labels three independent vectors coordinate functions these vectors are called a frame field or triad the greek letters label the three space like curvilinear coordinates a spatial metric invariant is constructed under the given group of motions with the use of the above forms 
i.e. the metric tensor is where the coefficients eta ab, which are symmetric in the indices a and b, are functions of time. The choice of basis vectors is dictated by the symmetry properties of the space and, in general, these basis vectors are not orthogonal so that the matrix eta ab is not diagonal. The reciprocal triple of vectors e a alpha display style e underscore a caret alpha is introduced with the help of Kronecker delta. In the three-dimensional case, the relation between the two vector triples can be written explicitly, where the volume v is v equals e alpha a equals e one e two times e three display style v equals left vert e underscore alpha caret a right vert equals math bf e caret one c dot math bf e caret two times math bf e caret three with e a and e a regarded as Cartesian vectors with components e a alpha display style e underscore a caret alpha and e alpha a display style e underscore alpha caret a respectively. The determinant of the metric tensor EQ six B is gamma equals eta v two, where eta is the determinant of the matrix eta ab. The required conditions for the homogeneity of the space are the constants c a b c. Display style c underscore ab caret c are called the structure constants of the group. Multiplying by e c gamma display style e underscore c caret gamma eq six e can be rewritten in the form equation six e can be written in a vector form as e a times e b curl e c equals minus c a b c display style math bf e underscore of times math bf e underscore b text curl math bf e caret c equals c underscore ab caret c where again the vector operations are done as if the coordinates x alpha were cartesian using eq 6d one obtains and six more equations obtained by a cyclic permutation of indices 1 2 3 the structure constants are antisymmetric in their lower indices as seen from their definition eq 6e c a b c equals minus c b a c Display style c underscore ab caret c equals c underscore ba caret c. Another condition on the structure constants can be obtained by noting that eq. 6f can be written in the form of commutation relations. For the linear differential operators, in the mathematical theory of continuous groups, Lie groups, the operators x a satisfying conditions of the form eq. 6h are called the generators of the group. However, to avoid confusion when comparing with other presentations, it should be mentioned that the systematic theory usually starts from operators defined using the killing vectors. She a alpha display style she underscore a caret alpha. Since in the synchronous metric none of the gab components depends on time, the killing vectors are time-like. X a equals she alpha x alpha display style x underscore a equals she underscore a caret alpha frac partial partial x caret alpha the condition mentioned above follows from the jacobi identity x a x b x c plus x b x c x a 
plus x c x a x b equals zero display style x underscore a x underscore b x underscore c plus x underscore b x underscore c x underscore a plus x underscore c x underscore a x underscore b equals zero and has the form it is a definite advantage to use in place of the three index constants c a b c display style c underscore ab caret c a set of two index quantities obtained by the dual transformation where e a b c topic e a b c is the unit antisymmetric symbol with e 123 plus 1 with these constants the commutation relations eq 6h are written as the antisymmetry property is already taken into account in the definition eq 6k while property eq 6j takes the form the choice of the three frame vectors in the differential forms e alpha a d x alpha Display style e underscore alpha caret a dx caret alpha, and with them the operators x a is not unique. They can be subjected to any linear transformation with constant coefficients. The quantities eta ab and cab behave like tensors, are invariant with respect to such transformations. The conditions eq six meters are the only ones that the structure constants must satisfy. But among the constants admissible by these conditions, there are equivalent sets, in the sense that their difference is related to a transformation of the type EQ. 6n. The question of the classification of homogeneous spaces reduces to determining all non-equivalent sets of structure constants. This can be done, using the tensor properties of the quantities cab, by the following simple method c. g. Baer, 1962. The unsymmetric tensor Cab can be resolved into a symmetric and an antisymmetric part. The first is denoted by nab, and the second is expressed in terms of its dual vector, AC. Substitution of this expression in EQ. 6 meters leads to the condition by means of the transformations EQ. 6 meters the symmetric tensor. Nab can be brought to diagonal form with eigenvalues n1, n2, n3. Equation 6p shows that the vector ab if it exists lies along one of the principal directions of the tensor nab the one corresponding to the eigenvalue 0 without loss of generality one can therefore set ab topic a 0 0 then eq 6p reduces to an 1 0 ie one of the quantities or n1 must be 0 the Jacobi identities take the form The only remaining freedom is a change of sign of the operators x a and arbitrary scale transformations of them multiplication by constants. This permits us simultaneously to change the sign of all the na and also to make the quantity a positive if it is different from zero. Also all structure constants can be made equal to plus or minus one, if at least one of the quantities a, n2, n3 vanishes. But if all three of these quantities differ from zero, the scale transformations leave invariant the ratio h equals a2 n2 n3 minus 1. Thus one arrives at the Bianchi classification listing the possible types of homogeneous spaces classified by the values of a, n1, n2, n3 which is graphically presented in fig. 3. In the class a case a topic. 0, type 9 n 1 equals 1, n 2 equals 1, n 3 equals 1 is represented by octant 2, type 8 n 1 equals 1, n 2 equals 1, n 3 equals minus 1 is represented by octant 6, while type 7 0 n 1 equals 1, n 2 equals 1, n 3 equals 0 is represented by the first quadrant of the horizontal plane and type 6 0 n 1 equals 1, n 2 equals minus 1, n 3 equals 0 
0 is represented by the fourth quadrant of this plane, type 2 n 1 equals 1, n 2 equals 0, n 3 equals 0 is represented by the interval 0, 1 along n 1 and type 1 n 1 equals 0, n 2 equals 0, n 3 equals 0 is at the origin. Similarly in the class B case with n 3. 0, Bianchi type VIH A equals H, N, 1 equals 1, N, 2 equals minus 1 projects to the fourth quadrant of the horizontal plane and type VIIH A equals H, N, 1 equals 1, N, 2 equals 1 projects to the first quadrant of the horizontal plane. These last two types are a single isomorphism class corresponding to a constant value surface of the function H. Topic. A2 n1 n2 minus 1. A typical such surface is illustrated in one octant, the angle theta given by tan theta. H2 1 half. Those in the remaining octants are obtained by rotation through multiples of pi 2 h alternating in sign for a given magnitude h. Type 3 is a subtype of VIH with a equals 1. Type 5 a equals 1, n 1 equals 0, n 2 equals 0 is the interval 0, 1 along the axis a and type 4 a equals 1, n 1 equals 1, n 2 equals 0 is the vertical open face between the first and fourth quadrants of the a equals 0 plane with the latter giving the class a limit of each type. Topic. The BKL conjecture In their 1970 work, BKL stated that as one approaches a singularity, terms containing time derivatives in Einstein's equations dominate over those containing spatial derivatives. This has since been known as the BKL conjecture and implies that Einstein's partial differential equations PDE are well approximated by ordinary differential equations ODES, whence the dynamics of general relativity effectively become local and oscillatory. The time evolution of fields at each spatial point is well approximated by the homogeneous cosmologies in the Bianchi classification. By separating the time and space derivatives in the Einstein equations, for example, in the way used above for the classification of homogeneous spaces, and then setting the terms containing space derivatives equal to zero, one can define the so-called truncated theory of the system truncated equations. Then, the BKL conjecture can be made more specific. We conjecture, as the singularity is approached the terms containing space derivatives in the Einstein equations are negligible in comparison to the terms containing time derivatives. Thus, as the singularity is approached the Einstein equations approach those found by setting derivative terms to zero. Thus, the weak conjecture says that the Einstein equations can be well approximated by the truncated equations in the vicinity of the singularity. Note that this does not imply that the solutions of the full equations of motion will approach the solutions to the truncated equations as the singularity is approached. This additional condition is captured in the strong version as follows. Strong conjecture, as the singularity is approached the Einstein equations approach those of the truncated theory and in addition the solutions to the full equations are well approximated by solutions to the truncated equations. In the beginning, the BKL conjecture seemed to be coordinate dependent and rather implausible. Barrow and Tipler, for example, among the ten criticisms of BKL studies, include the inappropriate according to them, choice of synchronous frame as a means to separate time and space derivatives. The BKL conjecture was sometimes rephrased in the literature as a statement that near the singularity only the time derivatives are important. Such a statement, taken at face value, is wrong or at best misleading since, as shown in the BKL analysis itself, spacelike gradients of the metric tensor cannot be neglected for generic solutions of pure Einstein gravity in four spacetime dimensions, and in fact play a crucial role in the appearance of the oscillatory regime. However, there exist reformulations of Einstein theory in terms of new variables involving the relevant gradients, for example in ashtekar like variables, for which the statement about the dominant role of the time derivatives is correct. It is true that one gets at each spatial point an effective description of the singularity in terms of a finite dimensional dynamical system described by ordinary differential equations with respect to time, but the spatial gradients do enter these equations non-trivially. Subsequent analysis by a large number of authors has shown that the BKL conjecture can be made precise and by now there is an impressive body of numerical and analytical evidence in its support. 
it is fair to say that we are still quite far from a proof of the strong conjecture. But there has been outstanding progress in simpler models. In particular, Berger, Garfinkel, Moncrief, Eisenberg, Weaver, and others showed that, in a class of models, as the singularity is approached the solutions to the full Einstein field equations approach the velocity term dominated truncated ones obtained by neglecting spatial derivatives. Anderson and Rendell showed that for gravity coupled to a massless scalar field or a stiff fluid, for every solution to the truncated equations there exists a solution to the full field equations that converges to the truncated solution as the singularity is approached, even in the absence of symmetries. These results were generalized to also include p-form gauge fields in. In these truncated models the dynamics are simpler, allowing a precise statement of the conjecture that could be proven. In the general case, the strongest evidence to date comes from numerical evolutions. Berger and Moncrief began a program to analyze generic cosmological singularities. While the initial work focused on symmetry-reduced cases, more recently Garfinkel has performed numerical evolution of space-times with no symmetries in which, again, the mixmaster behavior is apparent. Finally, additional support for the conjecture has come from a numerical study of the behavior of test fields near the singularity of a Schwarzschild black hole. The Einstein equations for a universe with a homogeneous space can reduce to a system of ordinary differential equations containing only functions of time with the help of a frame field. To do this one must resolve the spatial components of four vectors and four tensors along the triad of basis vectors of the space. R A B equals r alpha beta e a alpha e b beta r 0 a equals r 0 alpha e a alpha u a equals u alpha e alpha a display style r underscore a b equals r underscore alpha beta e underscore a caret alpha e underscore b caret beta quad r underscore zero a equals r underscore zero alpha e underscore a caret alpha quad u caret a equals u caret alpha e underscore alpha caret a where all these quantities are now functions of t alone, the scalar quantities, the energy density epsilon and the pressure of the matter p, are also functions of the time. The Einstein equations in vacuum in synchronous reference frame are where k alpha beta display style var kappa underscore alpha caret beta is the three-dimensional tensor k alpha beta equals gamma alpha beta t display style var kappa underscore alpha caret beta equals frac partial gamma underscore alpha caret beta partial t and p ab is the three dimensional ricci tensor which is expressed by the three dimensional metric tensor gab in the same way as ric is expressed by gik p ab contains only the space but not the time derivatives of gab using triads for eq 11 1 has simply k a b equals eta a b t k a b equals eta a c t eta c b Display style var kappa underscore a b equals frac partial eta underscore ab partial t quad var kappa underscore a caret b equals frac partial eta underscore a c partial t eta caret c b. The components of p a b can be expressed in terms of the quantities eta ab and the structure constants of the group by using the tetrad representation of the Ricci tensor in terms of quantities lambda a B C equals E A I K minus E A K I E B 
I E C K display style lambda underscore a b c equals left e underscore a i k e underscore a k i right e underscore b caret i e underscore c caret k r a b equals minus one two lambda a b c c plus lambda b a c c plus lambda c a b c plus lambda c b a c plus lambda b c d Lambda C D A plus Lambda B C D Lambda D C A minus one two Lambda B C D Lambda A C D plus lambda C D C lambda A B D plus lambda C D C lambda B A D Display style R underscore A B equals F R A C one two left Lambda underscore Ab C carrot C plus Lambda underscore Ba C carrot C plus Lambda underscore C A B carrot C plus Lambda underscore C B a carrot C plus Lambda underscore B carrot C D Lambda underscore C D A plus Lambda underscore B carrot C D Lambda underscore D C A F R A C one two Lambda underscore B carrot C D Lambda underscore A C D plus Lambda underscore C D carrot C Lambda underscore Ab carrot D plus Lambda underscore C D carrot C Lambda underscore Ba carrot D right. After replacing the three index symbols Lambda B C A equals C B C A Display style lambda underscore b c caret a equals c underscore b c caret a by two index symbols cab and the transformations eta a d eta b c eta c f e d e f equals eta E A B C E A B F E C D F equals Delta A C Delta B D minus Delta A D Delta B C Display style Ada underscore add Ada underscore B C Ada underscore C F E carrot de F equals Ada E underscore A B C quad E underscore A B F E carrot C D F equals Delta underscore a carrot C Delta underscore B carrot D Delta underscore a carrot D Delta underscore B carrot C One gets the homogeneous Ricci tensor expressed in structure constants P A B equals one two eta two C B D C A D plus C 
d b c a d plus c b d c d a minus c d d c a b plus c a b plus delta a b c d d 2 minus 2 c d f c d f Display style p underscore a carrot b equals frac one two eta left two c carrot b d c underscore add plus c carrot d b c underscore add plus c carrot b d c underscore dot c underscore d carrot d left c underscore a carrot b plus c underscore a carrot b right plus delta underscore a carrot b left left c underscore d carrot d right carrot two two c carrot d f c under Score df right right. Here, all indices are raised and lowered with the local metric tensor eta ab c a b equals eta a c c c b c a b equals eta a C eta B D C C D Display style C underscore a carrot B equals Ada underscore A C C carrot C B quad C underscore ab equals Ada underscore A C Ada underscore B D C carrot C D the Bianchi identities for the three dimensional tensor P ab in the homogeneous space take the form P B C C C A B plus P A C C C B B equals zero. Display style p underscore b carrot c c underscore c a carrot b plus p underscore a carrot c c underscore c b carrot b equals zero. Taking into account the transformations of covariant derivatives for arbitrary four vectors i and four tensors a i k a i k e a i e b K equals A A B minus A D gamma D A B display style A underscore I K E underscore a carrot I E underscore B carrot K equals A underscore A B A carrot D gamma underscore dab A I K L E A I E B K E C L equals A A B C minus A B D gamma D a C plus A A D gamma D B C Display style A underscore ik L E underscore a carrot I E underscore B carrot K E underscore C carrot L equals A underscore A B C A underscore B carrot D gamma underscore DAC plus A underscore a carrot D gamma underscore D B C. The final expressions for the triad components of the Ricci four tensor are 
It should be emphasized that in setting up the Einstein equations there is thus no need to use explicit expressions for the basis vectors as functions of the coordinates. Topic: <laughs> Kastner solution. Much more general solutions are obtained by a generalization of an exact particular solution derived by Edward Kastner for a field in vacuum, in which the space is homogeneous and has a Euclidean metric that depends on time according to the Kastner metric. dl is the line element, dx, di, dz are infinitesimal displacements in the three spatial dimensions, and t is time period passed since some initial moment t0 equals 0. Here, p1, p2, p3 are any three numbers that satisfy the following Kastner conditions. Because of these relations, only one of the three numbers is independent two equations with three unknowns. All three numbers are never the same, two numbers are the same only in the sets of values minus 1 3 2 3 2 3 Text style FRAC one three FRAC two three FRAC two three and zero zero one. In all other cases the numbers are different, one number is negative and the other two are positive. This is partially proved by squaring both sides of the first condition EQ. Three and developing the square P one plus P two plus P three two equals P one two plus P two two plus P three two plus two P one P two plus two P two P three plus two P one P three equals one display style left P underscore one plus P underscore two plus P underscore three right carrot two equals left P underscore one carrot two plus P underscore two carrot two plus P underscore three carrot two right plus left two P underscore one P underscore two plus two P underscore two P underscore three plus two P underscore one P underscore three right equals one the term P one two plus P two two plus P three two Two display style left p underscore one carrot two plus p underscore two carrot two plus p underscore three carrot two right is equal to one by dint of the second condition eq three and therefore the term with the mixed products should be zero. This is possible if at least one of the p one p two p three is negative. If the numbers are arranged in increasing order p one the Kastner metric eq. 2 corresponds to a flat homogeneous but anisotropic space in which all volumes increase with time in such a way that the linear distances along two axes y and z increase while the distance along the axis x decreases. The moment t topic 0 causes a singularity in the solution, the singularity in the metric at t0 cannot be avoided by any reference frame transformation. At the singularity, the invariants of the four-dimensional curvature tensor go to infinity. An exception is the case P1 topic R2 O, R3 topic 1, these values correspond to a flat space time, the transformation T shish Z zeta, T C H Z equals tau turns the metric EQ. 2 into Galilean. BKL parametrize the numbers P1, P2, P3 in terms of a single independent real parameter U Lifshitz Kalatnikov parameter as follows the Kastner index parametrization appears mysterious until one thinks about the two constraints on the indices EQ. 3. Both constraints fix the overall scale of the indices so that only their ratios can vary. It is natural to pick one of those ratios as a new parameter, which can be done in six different ways. Picking U topic U32 P3, P2, for example, it is trivial to express all six possible ratios in terms of it. Eliminating P3 topic up 2 first, and then using the linear constraint to eliminate P11 minus P2 minus up 2 equals 1 minus 1 plus U P2, the quadratic constraint reduces to a quadratic equation in P2 with roots P2 topic 0 obvious and P2 1 plus U, 1 plus U plus U2, from which P1 and P3 are then obtained by back substitution. 
One can define six such parameters U A B equals Pa P B, for which P C P B Pa when C B A is a cyclic permutation of 1, 2, 3. All different values of P1, P2, P3 ordered as above are obtained with U running in the range U1. The values U in the generalized solution, the form corresponding to EQ. 2 applies only to the asymptotic metric the metric close to the singularity t equals 0, respectively, to the major terms of its series expansion by powers of t. In the synchronous reference frame it is written in the form of eq. 1 with a space distance element where the three-dimensional vectors l, m, n define the directions at which space distance changes with time by the power laws eq. 8. These vectors, as well as the numbers place, pm, pn which, as before, are related by eq. 3, are functions of the space coordinates. The powers place, pm, pn are not arranged in increasing order, reserving the symbols p1, p2, p3 for the numbers in eq. 5 that remain arranged in increasing order. The determinant of the metric of eq. 7 is where v equals l, Minnesota. It is convenient to introduce the following quantities the space metric in eq. 7 is anisotropic because the powers of t in eq. 8 cannot have the same values. On approaching the singularity at t equals 0, the linear distances in each space element decrease in two directions and increase in the third direction. The volume of the element decreases in proportion to t. The Kastner metric is introduced in the Einstein equations by substituting the respective metric tensor gab from eq. 7 without defining a priori the dependence of a, b, c from t k alpha beta equals 2 a a l alpha l beta plus 2 b b m alpha m beta plus 2 c c n alpha n beta Display style var kappa underscore alpha caret beta equals frac two dot a a l underscore alpha l caret beta plus frac two dot b b m underscore alpha m caret beta plus frac two dot c c n underscore alpha n caret beta, where the dot above a symbol designates differentiation with respect to time. The Einstein equation eq eleven takes the form. All its terms are to a second order for the large at t0 quantity 1, t. In the Einstein equations eq. 12, terms of such order appear only from terms that are time differentiated. If the components of Pab do not include terms of order higher than 2, then where indices L, M, N designate tensor components in the directions L, M, N. These equations together with eq. 14 give the expressions eq. 8 with powers that satisfy eq. 3. However, the presence of one negative power among the three powers place, pm, pn results in appearance of terms from pab with an order greater than t-2. If the negative power is place place equals p1 here, the second terms are of order t-2 pm plus pn minus place whereby pm plus pn minus place topic 1 plus 2, place, greater than 1. To remove these terms and restore the metric eq. 7. It is necessary to impose on the coordinate functions the condition λ0. The remaining three Einstein equations eq. 13 contain only first-order time derivatives of the metric tensor. They give three time-independent relations that must be imposed as necessary conditions on the coordinate functions in eq. 7. This, together with the condition λ0, makes four conditions. These conditions bind ten different coordinate functions, three components of each of the vectors L, M, N, and one function in the powers of T any one of the functions place, PM, PN, which are bound by the conditions EQ. 3. When calculating the number of physically arbitrary functions, it must be taken into account that the synchronous system used here allows time-independent arbitrary transformations of the three space coordinates. Therefore, the final solution contains overall 10 minus 4 minus 3 3 physically arbitrary functions which is one less than what is needed for the general solution in vacuum. The degree of generality reached at this point is not lessened by introducing matter. Matter is written into the metric EQ. 
7 and contributes four new coordinate functions necessary to describe the initial distribution of its density and the three components of its velocity. This makes possible to determine matter evolution merely from the laws of its movement in an a priori given gravitational field which are the hydrodynamic equations where ui is the four-dimensional velocity, epsilon and sigma are the densities of energy and entropy of matter. For the ultrarelativistic equation of state p equals epsilon, 3 the entropy sigma tilde epsilon 1 quarter. The major terms in eq. 17 and eq. 18 are those that contain time derivatives. From eq. 17 and the space components of eq. 18 1 has t minus g u 0 epsilon 3 4 equals 0 4 epsilon u alpha t plus u alpha epsilon t equals 0 Display style FRAC partial partial T left SQRT G U underscore zero var epsilon carrot FRAC three four right equals zero four var epsilon C D O T FRAC partial U underscore alpha partial T plus U underscore alpha C D O T FRAC partial var epsilon partial T equals zero resulting in where const are time independent quantities. Additionally, from the identity ui ui equals 1 1 has because all covariant components of u alpha are to the same order u 0 2 approximately equals u n u n equals u n 2 c 2 Display style u underscore zero carrot two approximately u underscore n u carrot n equals frac u underscore n carrot two c carrot two, where n is the velocity component along the direction of n that is connected with the highest positive power of t, supposing that p n equals p three. From the above relations, it follows that or the above equations can be used to confirm that the components of the matter stress energy momentum tensor standing in the right hand side of the equations R 0 0 equals T 0 0 minus 1 2 T R alpha beta equals T alpha beta minus 1 2 delta alpha beta t Display style R underscore zero carrot zero equals T underscore zero carrot zero FRAC one two T R underscore alpha carrot beta equals T underscore alpha carrot beta FRAC one two delta underscore alpha carrot beta T are, indeed, to a lower order by 1, t than the major terms in their left-hand sides. In the equations r alpha 0 equals t alpha 0 display style r underscore alpha caret 0 equals t underscore alpha caret 0 the presence of matter results only in the change of relations imposed on their constituent coordinate functions, the fact that epsilon becomes infinite by the law EQ. 21 confirms that in the solution to EQ. 7 1 deals with a physical singularity at any values of the powers P1, P2, P3 excepting only 0, 0, 1. For these last values, the singularity is non-physical and can be removed by a change of reference frame. The fictional singularity corresponding to the powers 0, 0, 1 arises as a result of timeline coordinates crossing over some two-dimensional focal surface. As pointed out in, a synchronous reference frame can always be chosen in such a way that this inevitable timeline crossing occurs exactly on such surface instead of a three-dimensional caustic surface. Therefore, a solution with such simultaneous for the whole space fictional singularity must exist with a full set of arbitrary functions needed for the general solution. 
Close to the point t equals zero it allows a regular expansion by whole powers of t. Topic. Oscillating mode towards the singularity The four conditions that had to be imposed on the coordinate functions in the solution eq. 7 are of different types, three conditions that arise from the equations r alpha 0 Display style r underscore alpha caret zero. Topic zero r natural. They are a consequence of the structure of Einstein equations. However, the additional condition lambda zero that causes the loss of one derivative function is of entirely different type. The general solution by definition is completely stable, otherwise the universe would not exist. Any perturbation is equivalent to a change in the initial conditions in some moment of time. Since the general solution allows arbitrary initial conditions, the perturbation is not able to change its character. In other words, the existence of the limiting condition λ equals zero for the solution of EQ. 7 means instability caused by perturbations that break this condition. The action of such perturbation must bring the model to another mode which thereby will be most general. Such perturbation cannot be considered as small, a transition to a new mode exceeds the range of very small perturbations. The analysis of the behavior of the model under perturbative action, performed by BKL, delineates a complex oscillatory mode on approaching the singularity. They could not give all details of this mode in the broad frame of the general case. However, BKL explained the most important properties and character of the solution on specific models that allow far-reaching analytical study. These models are based on a homogeneous space metric of a particular type. Supposing a homogeneity of space without any additional symmetry leaves a great freedom in choosing the metric. All possible homogeneous but anisotropic spaces are classified, according to Bianchi, in nine classes. BKL investigate only spaces of Bianchi types 8 and X. If the metric has the form of EQ. 7, for each type of homogeneous spaces exists some functional relation between the reference vectors L, M, N and the space coordinates. The specific form of this relation is not important. The important fact is that for type 8 and X spaces, the quantities λ, μ, ν EQ. 10 are constants while all mixed. Products L rot M, L rot N, M rot L, etc. are zeros. For type 9 spaces, the quantities λ, μ, ν have the same sign and one can write λ μ ν 1 The simultaneous sign change of the three constants does not change anything. For type 8 spaces, two constants have a sign that is opposite to the sign of the third constant. One can write, for example, λ minus 1, μ topic, nu 1. The study of the effect of the perturbation on the Kastner mode is thus confined to a study on the effect of the lambda-containing terms in the Einstein equations. Type 8 and X spaces are the most suitable models exactly in this connection. Since all three quantities λ, μ, ν differ from zero, the condition λ equals zero does not hold irrespective of which direction L, M, N has negative power law time dependence. The Einstein equations for the type 8 and type 9 space models are The remaining components R L zero display style R underscore L carrot zero R M zero display style R underscore M carrot zero R N zero display style R underscore N carrot zero R L M Display style R underscore L carrot M R L N Display style R underscore L carrot N R M N Display style R underscore M carrot N are identically zeros. 
These equations contain only functions of time, this is a condition that has to be fulfilled in all homogeneous spaces. Here, the EQ. 22 and EQ. 23 are exact and their validity does not depend on how near one is to the singularity at t equals zero, the time derivatives in EQ. 22 and EQ. 23 take a simpler form if a, b, s are substituted by their logarithms alpha, beta, gamma. Substituting the variable t for tau according to then subscripts denote differentiation by tau. Adding together equations eq. 26 and substituting in the left-hand side the sum alpha plus beta plus gamma tau tau according to eq. 27, one obtains an equation containing only first derivatives which is the first integral of the system eq. 26. This equation plays the role of a binding condition imposed on the initial state of eq. 26. The Kastner mode eq. 8 is a solution of eq. 26 when ignoring all terms in the right-hand sides. But such situation cannot go on at t0 indefinitely because among those terms there are always some that grow. Thus, if the negative power is in the function a t place equals p1, then the perturbation of the Kastner mode will arise by the terms λ2a4, the rest of the terms will decrease with decreasing t. If only the growing terms are left in the right-hand sides of eq. 26, one obtains the system, compare eq. 16, below it is substituted λ2 topic 1. The solution of these equations must describe the metric evolution from the initial state, in which it is described by eq. 8 with a given set of powers with place r1, pm topic r2, pn r3 so that then where lambda is constant. Initial conditions for eq. 29 are redefined as equations eq. 29 are easily integrated, the solution that satisfies the condition eq. 32 is where b0 and c0 are two more constants. It can easily be seen that the asymptotic of functions eq. 33 at t0 is eq. 30. The asymptotic expressions of these functions and the function t tau at tau minus infinity is a e minus lambda p1 tau, b e lambda p2 plus 2 p1 tau, c e lambda p3 plus 2 p1 tau, t e lambda 1 plus 2 p1 tau, display style a sim e caret lambda p underscore 1 tau, b sim e caret lambda p underscore 2 plus 2 p underscore 1 tau, c sim e caret lambda p underscore 3 plus 2p underscore 1 tau t sim e caret lambda 1 plus 2p underscore 1 tau expressing a b c as functions of t one has where then the above shows that perturbation acts in such a way that it changes one Kastner mode with another Kastner mode and in this process the negative power of t flips from direction l to direction m if before it was place 29 which before was increasing now begins to decrease and die away Further evolution similarly causes an increase in the perturbation from the terms with mu2 instead of lambda2 in eq, 26, next change of the Kastner mode, and so on. It is convenient to write the power substitution rule eq. 35 with the help of the parametrization eq. 5, the greater of the two positive powers remains positive. BKL call this flip of negative power between directions a Kastner epoch. The key to understanding the character of metric evolution on approaching singularity is exactly this process of Kastner epoch alternation with flipping of powers place, pm, pn by the rule eq. 37. The successive alternations eq. 37 with flipping of the negative power p1 between directions l and m Kastner epochs continues by depletion of the whole part of the initial u until the moment at which u1 according to eq. 6. In this moment the negative power is place or pm while pn becomes the lesser of two positive numbers pn equals p2. The next series of Kastner epochs then flips the negative power between directions n and l or between n and m. At an arbitrary irrational initial value of u this process of alternation continues unlimited. In the exact solution of the Einstein equations, the powers place, pm, pn lose their original, precise, sense. This circumstance introduces some fuzziness in the determination of these numbers and together with them, to the parameter u which, although small, makes meaningless the analysis of any definite for example, rational values of u. Therefore, only these laws that concern arbitrary irrational values of u have any particular meaning. 
The larger periods in which the scales of space distances along two axes oscillate while distances along the third axis decrease monotonously, are called eras. Volumes decrease by a law close to tilde t. On transition from one era to the next, the direction in which distances decrease monotonously, flips from one axis to another. The order of these transitions acquires the asymptotic character of a random process. The same random order is also characteristic for the alternation of the lengths of successive eras by era length, BKL understand the number of Kastner epoch that an era contains, and not a time interval. To each era, STH era correspond a series of values of the parameter u starting from the greatest, u max s display style u underscore max caret s, and through the values u max s display style u underscore max caret s minus one, u max s display style u underscore max caret s minus two, reaching to the smallest, u min s display style u underscore min caret s that is k is equals u max s display style u underscore max caret s, where the bracket mean the whole part of the value. The number k's is the era length, measured by the number of Kastner epochs that the era contains. For the next era in the limitless series of numbers u, composed by these rules, there are infinitesimally small but never zero values xs and correspondingly infinitely large lengths k's. The era series become denser on approaching t equals zero. However, the natural variable for describing the time course of this evolution is not the world time t, but its logarithm, ln t, by which the whole process of reaching the singularity is extended to minus infinity. According to EQ. 33, one of the functions a, b, c, that passes through a maximum during a transition between Kastner epochs, at the peak of its maximum is where it is supposed that a max is large compared to b0 and c0, in EQ. 38 u is the value of the parameter in the Kastner epoch before transition. It can be seen from here that the peaks of consecutive maxima during each era are gradually lowered. Indeed, in the next Kastner epoch this parameter has the value u topic u minus 1, and lambda is substituted according to eq. 36 with lambda lambda 1 minus 2, p1 u. Therefore, the ratio of two consecutive maxima is a max Max equals p one u minus one p one u one minus two p one u one two Display style FRAC a underscore max a underscore max equals left FRAC P underscore one U one P underscore one U left one to two P underscore one U right right carrot FRAC one two And finally the above are solutions to Einstein equations in vacuum. As for the pure Kastner mode, matter does not change the qualitative properties of this solution and can be written into it disregarding its reaction on the field. However, if one does this for the model under discussion, understood as an exact solution of the Einstein equations, the resulting picture of matter evolution would not have a general character and would be specific for the high symmetry imminent to the present model. Mathematically, this specificity is related to the fact that for the homogeneous space geometry discussed here, the Ricci tensor components are alpha 0 display style r underscore alpha caret 0 are identically zeros and therefore the Einstein equations would not allow movement of matter which gives non-zero stress energy momentum tensor components t alpha 0 display style t underscore alpha caret 0 in other words the synchronous frame must also be co-moving with respect to matter if one substitutes in eq 19 u alpha Topic zero u zero one it becomes epsilon tilde a b c minus four thirds tilde t minus four thirds. This difficulty is avoided if one includes in the model only the major terms of the limiting at t zero metric and writes into it a matter with arbitrary initial distribution of densities and velocities. Then the course of evolution of matter is determined by its general laws of movement eq. 17 and eq. 18 that result in eq. 21. During each Kastner epoch, density increases by the law 
where P3 is, as above, the greatest of the numbers P1, P2, P3. Matter density increases monotonously during all evolution towards the singularity. <laughs> Metric evolution Very large U values correspond to Kastner powers, which are close to the values 0, 0, 1. Two values that are close to 0, are also close to each other, and therefore the changes in two out of the three types of perturbations, the terms with lambda, mu and nu in the right-hand sides of eq. 26 are also very similar. If in the beginning of such long era these terms are very close in absolute values in the moment of transition between two Kastner epochs or made artificially such by assigning initial conditions then they will remain close during the greatest part of the length of the whole era. In this case BKL call this the case of small oscillations, analysis based on the action of one type of perturbations becomes incorrect, one must take into account the simultaneous effect of two perturbation types. Topic. Two perturbations Consider a long era, during which two out of the three functions a, b, c let them be a and b undergo small oscillations while the third function c decreases monotonously. The latter function quickly becomes small, consider the solution just in the region where one can ignore c in comparison to a and b. The calculations are first done for the type 9 space model by substituting accordingly λ Topic. Mu Nu equals 1. After ignoring function c, the first two equations eq. 26 give an eq. 28 can be used as a third equation, which takes the form the solution of eq. 44 is written in the form alpha plus beta equals 2. 0 2 she 0 tau minus tau 0 plus 2 lane a 0 Display style alpha plus beta equals frac 2 a underscore 0 carrot 2 she underscore 0 left tau tau underscore 0 right plus 2 lane a underscore 0 where alpha 0, xi 0 are positive constants, and tau 0 is the upper limit of the era for the variable tau. It is convenient to introduce further a new variable instead of tau. Then, equations eq. 45 and eq. 46 are transformed by introducing the variable chi equals alpha minus beta. Decrease of tau from tau 0 to minus infinity corresponds to a decrease of xi from xi 0 to 0. The long arrow with close a and b, that is, with small chi, considered here, is obtained if xi zero is a very large quantity. Indeed, at large xi the solution of eq. 49 in the first approximation by 1, xi is where a is constant, the multiplier 1 xi display style tfrac 1 sqrt xi makes chi a small quantity so it can be substituted in eq. 49 by shish 2 chi approximately equals 2 chi, from eq. 51 obtains gamma shi equals 1 4 shi 2 chi shi 2 plus chi 2 equals a 2, gamma equals a 2 shi minus shi 0 plus const, display style gamma underscore shi equals frac 1 4 shi left 2 chi underscore shi carrot 2 plus chi carrot 2 right equals a carrot 2, gamma equals a carrot 2 left shi shi underscore 0 right plus mathem const, after determining alpha and beta from eq. 48 and eq. 51 and expanding e alpha and e beta in series according to the above approximation, one obtains finally, the relation between the variable xi and time t is obtained by integration of the definition dt equals a b c d tau which gives the constant c0 the value of s at xi equals xi0 should be now c0 display style ll alpha 0 let us now consider the domain xi display style ll 1. Here the major terms in the solution of eq. 
49 R chi equals alpha minus beta equals k lane she plus c o n s t display style chi equals alpha beta equals k lane she plus mathrm const where k is a constant in the range minus one. 49 is small. Shish 2 chi contains she 2 k and she minus 2 k. Then, after determining alpha, beta, and t, one obtains. This is again a Kastner mode with the negative t power coming into the function c t. These results picture an evolution that is qualitatively similar to that described above. During a long period of time that corresponds to a large decreasing she value, the two functions a and b oscillate, remaining close in magnitude. Minus b a one she display style tfrac a b a sim tfrac one sqrt she. In the same time, both functions a and b slowly she display style sim sqrt she decrease. The period of oscillations is constant by the variable she. dx topic 2 pi or which is the same with a constant period by logarithmic time delta lane t 2 pa 2 the third function c decreases monotonously by a law close to c equals c 0 t t 0 this evolution continues until she approximately 1 and formulas eq 52 and eq 53 are no longer applicable its time duration corresponds to change of t from t0 to the value t1, related to xi0 according to The relationship between xi and t during this time can be presented in the form After that, as seen from eq. 55, the decreasing function c starts to increase while functions a and b start to decrease. This Kastner epoch continues until terms c2, a2, b2 in eq. 22 become tilde t2 and a next series of oscillations begins. The law for density change during the long era under discussion is obtained by substitution of eq. 52 in eq. 20 When she changes from she 0 to she approximately 1, the density increases she 0 2 display style she underscore 0 caret 2 times it must be stressed that although the function c t changes by a law, close to c tilde t, the metric eq. 52 does not correspond to a Kastner metric with powers 0, 0, 1. The latter corresponds to an exact solution found by Taub which is allowed by eqs, 26, 27 and in which where p, delta 1, delta 2 are constant. In the asymptotic region tau minus infinity, one can obtain from here a Topic B Const C Topic Const T after the substitution or tau T In this metric, the singularity at T equals zero is non-physical. Let us now describe the analogous study of the type 8 model, substituting in EQS. EQS 26 28 lambda topic minus 1 mu new equals 1 if during the long era the monotonically decreasing function is a nothing changes in the foregoing analysis ignoring a2 on the right side of equations 26 and 28 goes back to the same equations 49 and 50 with altered notation some changes occur, however, if the monotonically decreasing function is b or c, let it be c. As before, one has equation 49 with the same symbols, and, therefore, the former expressions eq. 52 for the functions a she and b she, but equation 50 is replaced by the major term at large she now becomes gamma she approximately equals 1 8 she 2, gamma approximately equals 1 8 she 2 minus she o 2, display style gamma underscore she approximately frac 1 8 she c d o t 2, quad gamma approximately frac 1 8 left she caret 2 she underscore 0 caret 2 right, so that the value of c as a function of time t is again c equals c0 t t0 but the time dependence of she changes. 
The length of a long era depends on Xi0 according to on the other hand, the value Xi0 determines the number of oscillations of the functions a and b during an era equal to Xi0 halves pi. Given the length of an era in logarithmic time i.e., with given ratio t0, t1 the number of oscillations for type 8 will be, generally speaking, less than for type 9. For the period of oscillations one gets now delta lane t equals px, 2, contrary to type 9, the period is not constant throughout the long era, and slowly decreases along with xi. Topic the small time domain is shown above, long eras violate the regular course of evolution, this fact makes it difficult to study the evolution of time intervals, encompassing several eras. It can be shown, however, that such abnormal cases appear in the spontaneous evolution of the model to a singular point in the asymptotically small times t at sufficiently large distances from a start point with arbitrary initial conditions. Even in long eras both oscillatory functions during transitions between Kastner epochs remain so different that the transition occurs under the influence of only one perturbation. All results in this section relate equally to models of the types 8 and X, during each Kastner epoch ABC topic lambda T, I. E. Alpha plus beta plus gamma lane lambda plus lane T. On changing over from one epoch with a given value of the parameter u to the next epoch the constant lambda is multiplied by 1 plus 2 P1 equals 1 U plus U2, 1 plus U plus U2. For a large k the maximal value u max equals k plus x approximately equals k. Hence the entire variation of lane lambda during an era is given by a sum of the form lane 1 plus 2 p 1 equals plus 1 k minus 2 plus 1 K minus one plus one K display style sum lane left one plus two P underscore one right equals dots plus FRAC one K two plus FRAC one K one plus FRAC one K with only the terms that correspond to large values of U written down. When K increases this sum increases as lane K but the probability for an appearance of an era of a large length k decreases as 1, k2 according to eq. 76, hence the mean value of the sum above is finite. Consequently, the systematic variation of the quantity lane lambda over a large number of eras will be proportional to this number. But it is seen in eq. 85 that with t0 the number s increases merely as lane, lane t. Thus in the asymptotic limit of arbitrarily small t the term lane lambda can indeed be neglected as compared to lane t. In this approximation, where omega denotes the logarithmic time, and the process of epoch transitions can be regarded as a series of brief time flashes. The magnitudes of maxima of the oscillating scale functions are also subject to a systematic variation. From eq. 39 for u1 we find that Max minus a max approximately equals minus one two u display style a underscore max caret prime a underscore max approximately minus one half u. In the same way as it was done above for the quantity lane lambda, one can hence deduce that the mean decrease in the height of the maxima during an era is finite and the total decrease over a large number of eras increases with t0 merely as lane omega, at the same time the lowering of the minima, and by the same token the increase of the amplitude of the oscillations, proceed eq. 77 proportional to omega. In correspondence with the adopted approximation the lowering of the maxima is neglected in comparison with the increase of the amplitudes so alpha max topic 0 beta max 0 gamma max equals 0 for the maximal values of all oscillating functions and the quantities alpha beta gamma run only through negative values that are connected with one another at each instant of time by the relation eq 63 considering such instant change of epochs the transition periods are ignored as small in comparison to the epoch length this condition is actually fulfilled 
Replacement of alpha, beta, and gamma maxima with zeros requires that quantities ln, p1, lambda be small in comparison with the amplitudes of oscillations of the respective functions. As mentioned above, during transitions between eras, p1, values can become very small while their magnitude and probability for occurrence are not related to the oscillation amplitudes in the respective moment. Therefore, in principle, it is possible to reach so small, p1, values that the above condition zero maxima is violated. Such drastic drop of alpha max can lead to various special situations in which the transition between Kastner epochs by the rule eq. 37 becomes incorrect including the situations described above. These dangerous situations could break the laws used for the statistical analysis below. As mentioned, however, the probability for such deviations converges asymptotically to zero, this issue will be discussed below. Consider an era that contains k Kastner epochs with a parameter u running through the values and let alpha and beta are the oscillating functions during this era fig. 4, initial moments of Kastner epochs with parameters un or omega n. In each initial moment, one of the values alpha or beta is zero, while the other has a minimum. Values alpha or beta in consecutive minima, that is, in moments omega n are not distinguishing minima alpha and beta. Values delta n that measure those minima in respective omega n units can run between 0 and 1. Function gamma monotonously decreases during this era, according to EQ. 63 its value in moment omega n is during the epoch starting at moment omega n and ending at moment omega n plus 1 one of the functions alpha or beta increases from minus delta n omega n to 0 while the other decreases from 0 to minus delta n plus 1 ohm n plus 1 by linear laws, respectively c o n s t plus p 1 u n Omega display style mathrm const plus p underscore one u underscore n omega and c o n s t minus p two u n omega display style mathrm const p underscore two u underscore n omega resulting in the recurrence relation and for the logarithmic epoch length where, for short, f u equals 1 plus u plus u2. The sum of n epoch lengths is obtained by the formula. It can be seen from eq. 68 that, alpha n plus 1, greater than, alpha n, i.e., the oscillation amplitudes of functions alpha and beta increase during the whole era although the factors delta n may be small. If the minimum at the beginning of an era is deep, the next minima will not become shallower, in other words, the residue, alpha, beta, at the moment of transition between Kastner epochs remains large. This assertion does not depend upon era length k because transitions between epochs are determined by the common rule eq. 37 also for long eras. The last oscillation amplitude of functions alpha or beta in a given era is related to the amplitude of the first oscillation by the relationship, alpha k minus 1, equals, alpha 0, k plus x, 1 plus x. Even at k, s as small as several units x can be ignored in comparison to k so that the increase of alpha and beta oscillation amplitudes becomes proportional to the error length. For functions a topic. E alpha and B. E beta this means that if the amplitude of their oscillations in the beginning of an era was AO, at the end of this era the amplitude will become A 0 K 1 plus X display style A underscore 0 carrot K 1 plus X the length of Kastner epochs in logarithmic time also increases inside a given era, it is easy to calculate from eq. 69 that delta n plus 1 greater than delta n. The total era length is the term with 1, x arises from the last, kth, epoch whose length is great at small x, cf. fig. 2. Moment omega n when the kth epoch of a given era ends is at the same time moment omega 0 of the beginning of the next era. 
In the first Kastner epoch of the new era function γ is the first to rise from the minimal value γ k equals minus omega k 1 minus delta k that it reached in the previous era, this value plays the role of a starting amplitude delta 0 ohms 0 for the new series of oscillations. It is easily obtained that it is obvious that delta 0 ohms 0 greater than delta 0 ohms 0. Even at not very great k the amplitude increase is very significant. Function c equals e gamma begins to oscillate from amplitude a 0 a 0 k 2 display style a underscore 0 sim a underscore 0 caret k caret 2. The issue about the above mentioned dangerous cases of drastic lowering of the upper oscillation limit is left aside for now. According to EQ. 40 the increase in matter density during the first k -1 epochs is given by the formula ln epsilon n plus 1 epsilon n equals 2 1 minus p3 un delta n plus 1 display style lane left frac var epsilon underscore n plus 1 var epsilon underscore n right equals 2 left 1 p underscore 3 u underscore n right delta underscore n plus 1 for the last k epoch of a given era it should be taken into account that at u equals x therefore for, even at not very great k values, epsilon zero, epsilon zero a o two k display style var epsilon underscore zero var epsilon underscore zero sim a underscore zero caret two k. During the next era, with a length k, density will increase faster because of the increased starting amplitude a o epsilon zero epsilon zero a zero K a zero two K two K display style var epsilon underscore zero var epsilon underscore zero sim a underscore zero carrot two K sim a underscore zero carrot two K carrot two K etc. These formulae illustrate the steep increase in matter density. Topic. Statistical analysis near the singularity The sequence of era lengths k's, measured by the number of Kastner epochs contained in them, acquires asymptotically the character of a random process. The same pertains also to the sequence of the interchanges of the pairs of oscillating functions on going over from one era to the next it depends on whether the numbers k's are even or odd. A source of this stochasticity is the rule EQS. 41 to 42 according to which the transition from one era to the next is determined in an infinite numerical sequence of u values. This rule states, in other words, that if the entire infinite sequence begins with a certain initial value u max 0 equals k 0 plus x 0 Display style u underscore max caret zero equals k caret zero plus x caret zero. Then the lengths of the errors k zero k one. Air the numbers in the continued fraction expansion. This expansion corresponds to the mapping transformation of the interval zero one onto itself by the formula T x. Topic one x i e x s plus one. 1, x s. This transformation belongs to the so-called expanding transformations of the interval 0, 1, i.e., transformations x f x with f x greater than 1. Such transformations possess the property of exponential instability. If we take initially two close points their mutual distance increases exponentially under the iterations of the transformations. It is well known that the exponential instability leads to the appearance of strong stochastic properties. It is possible to change over to a probabilistic description of such a sequence by considering not a definite initial value x 0 but the values x 0 equals x distributed in the interval from 0 to 1 in accordance with a certain probabilistic distributional law w0 x. Then the values of x s terminating each arrow will also have distributions that follow certain laws w s x. Let w s x dx be the probability that the sth era terminates with the value u max s equals x 
Display style u underscore max caret s equals x lying in a specified interval dx. The value x s equals x, which terminates the sth era, can result from initial for this era values u max s equals x plus k. Display style u underscore max caret s equals x plus k where k equals 1, 2, these values of u max s display style u underscore max caret s correspond to the values x s1 equals 1, k plus x for the preceding era. Noting this, one can write the following recurrence relation, which expresses the distribution of the probabilities w s x in terms of the distribution w s1 x w S x d x equals k equals one infinity w s minus one one k plus x d one k plus x Display style w underscore s x d x equals sum underscore k equals one caret in a t w underscore s one left frac one k plus x right left vert d frac one k plus x right vert. Or, if the distribution w s x tends with increasing s to a stationary independent of s limiting distribution w x, then the latter should satisfy an equation obtained from eq. 73c by dropping the indices of the functions w s minus 1 x and w s x. This equation has a solution normalized to unity and taken to the first order of x. In order for the sth era to have a length k, the preceding era must terminate with a number x in the interval between 1, k plus 1 and 1, k. Therefore, the probability that the era will have a length k is equal to in the stationary limit at large values of k. In relating the statistical properties of the cosmological model with the ergodic properties of the transformation x s plus 1 equals 1, x s an important point must be mentioned. In an infinite sequence of numbers x constructed in accordance with this rule, there will be observed arbitrary small but never vanishing values of x and accordingly arbitrarily large lengths k. Such cases can by no means necessarily give rise to certain specific situations when the notion of eras, as of sequences of Kastner epochs interchanging each other according to the rule EQ. 37, loses its meaning although the oscillatory mode of evolution of the model still persists. Such an anomalous situation can be manifested, for instance, in the necessity to retain in the right-hand side of EQ. 26 terms not only with one of the functions a, b, c, say, a4, as is the case in the regular interchange of the Kastner epochs, but simultaneously with two of them, say, a4, b4, a2, b2. On emerging from an anomalous series of oscillations a succession of regular eras is restored. Statistical analysis of the behavior of the model which is entirely based on regular iterations of the transformations eq. 42 is corroborated by an important theorem, the probability of the appearance of anomalous cases tends asymptotically to zero as the number of iterations s infinity i.e., the time t zero which is proved at the end of this section. The validity of this assertion is largely due to a very rapid rate of increase of the oscillation amplitudes during every era and especially in transition from one era to the next one. The process of the relaxation of the cosmological model to the stationary Statistical regime with t0 starting from a given initial instant is less interesting, however, than the properties of this regime itself with due account taken for the concrete laws of the variation of the physical characteristics of the model during the successive eras. An idea of the rate at which the stationary distribution sets in is obtained from the following example. Let the initial values x be distributed in a narrow interval of width delta x about some definite number. From the recurrence relation EQ. 73C or directly from the expansion EQ. 73A it is easy to conclude that the widths of the distributions WS X about other definite numbers will then be equal to 
This expression is valid only so long as it defines quantities delta x s one. The mean value k display style bar k calculated from this distribution diverges logarithmically. For a sequence cut off at a very large but still finite number n, one has k lane n display style bar k sim lane n. The usefulness of the mean in this case is very limited because of its instability, because of the slow decrease of w k, fluctuations in k diverge faster than its mean. A more adequate characteristic of this sequence is the probability that a randomly chosen number from it belongs to an era of length k where k is large. This probability is ln k, ln n. It is small if 1 k n Display style one l l k l l n. In this respect, one can say that a randomly chosen number from the given sequence belongs to the long era with a high probability. It convenient to average expressions that depend simultaneously on k's and x's. Since both these quantities are derived from the same quantity x s one, which terminates the preceding era, in accordance with the formula k's plus x s equals one x s one, their statistical distributions cannot be regarded as independent. The joint distribution w's k x d x of both quantities can be obtained from the distribution w s one x d x by making in the latter the substitution x one x plus k. In other words, the function w's k, x, is given by the very expression under the summation sign in the right side of eq. 73c. In the stationary limit, taking w from eq. 74, one obtains summation of this distribution over k brings us back to eq. 74, an integration with respect to dx to eq. 75. The recurrent formulas defining transitions between eras are rewritten with index s numbering the successive eras not the Kastner epochs in a given era, beginning from some era s equals zero defined as initial. Omega s and epsilon s are, respectively, the initial moment and initial matter density in the sth era. Delta s omega s is the initial oscillation amplitude of that pair of functions alpha, beta, gamma, which oscillates in the given era. Ks is the length of sth era, and x s determines the length number of Kastner epochs of the next era according to k s plus one equals one x s. According to E Q s. 71 to 73 she s is introduced in eq 77 to be used further on the quantities delta s have a stable stationary statistical distribution p delta and a stable small relative fluctuations mean value for their determination bkl used with due reservations an approximate method based on the assumption of statistical independence of the random quantity delta s and of the random quantities k's xs for the function p delta, an integral equation was set up which expressed the fact that the quantities delta s plus one and delta s interconnected by the relation eq. 78 have the same distribution. This equation was solved numerically. In a later work, K. L. et al. showed that the distribution p delta can actually be found exactly by an analytical method. For statistical properties in the stationary limit, it is reasonable to introduce the so-called natural extension of the transformation Tx topic 1, x by continuing it without limit to negative indices. Otherwise stated, this is a transition from a one-sided infinite sequence of the numbers x0, x1, x2, connected by the equalities Tx 1, x, to a doubly infinite sequence x topic, x minus 1, x0, x1, x2, of the numbers which are connected by the same equalities for all infinity initial condition. The sequence x is equivalent to a sequence of integers k, k-1, k0, k1, k2, constructed by the rule k is equals 1, x s1. Inversely, every number of x is determined by the integers of k as an infinite continuous fraction the convenience of introducing the notation x s plus 1 plus display style x underscore s plus 1 caret plus with an index shifted by 1 will become clear in the following. For concise notation the continuous fraction is denoted simply by enumeration in square brackets of its denominators, then the definition of x s plus display style x underscore s caret plus can be written as reverse quantities are defined by a continuous fraction with a retrograde in the direction of diminishing indices sequence of denominators the recurrence relation eq. 
78 is transformed by introducing temporarily the notation eta s equals 1 minus delta s delta s. Then eq 78 can be rewritten as eta s plus 1 equals 1 eta s x s minus 1 plus k S display style eta underscore s plus one equals frac one eta underscore s x underscore s one plus k underscore s. By iteration, an infinite continuous fraction is obtained. Eta s plus one x s equals k s k s minus 1 equals x s plus 1 minus display style eta underscore s plus 1 x underscore s equals left k underscore s k underscore s 1 dots right equals x underscore s plus 1 caret hence eta s equals x S minus x s plus display style eta underscore s equals x underscore s caret x underscore s caret plus and finally this expression for delta s contains only two instead of the three in random quantities x s plus display style x underscore s caret plus and x s minus display style x underscore s caret each of which assumes values in the interval 0 1 it follows from the definition eq 79c that 1 x s minus equals x s minus plus k S equals x s minus plus one x s plus display style one x underscore s caret equals x underscore s caret plus k underscore s equals x underscore s caret plus left one x underscore s caret plus right Hence the shift of the entire sequence x by one step to the right means a joint transformation of the quantities x s plus display style x underscore s caret plus and x s minus display style x underscore s caret according to this is a one to one mapping in the unit square Thus we have now a one-to-one -one transformation of two quantities instead of a not one-to-one -one transformation tx equals 1, x of one quantity. The quantities x s plus display style x underscore s caret plus and x s minus display style x underscore s caret have a joint stationary distribution. P x plus x minus. Since eq 79e is a one-to-one -one transformation, the condition for the distribution to be stationary is expressed simply by a function equation, where j is the Jacobian of the transformation. A shift of the sequence x by one step gives rise to the following transformation t of the unit square. X equals one x y equals 1 1 x plus y display style x caret prime equals frac 1 x quad y caret prime equals frac 1 frac 1 x plus y with x x 0 plus display style x equiv x underscore 0 caret plus Y x zero 
minus display style y equiv x underscore zero caret cf eq seventy nine e the density p x y defines the invariant measure for this transformation. It is natural to suppose that p x y is a symmetric function of x and y. This means that the measure is invariant with respect to the transformation s x y. Topic y x and hence with respect to the product street with Saint x y. x y and x equals 1 1 x plus y y equals 1 x display style x equals frac 1 frac 1 x plus y quad y equals frac 1 x Evidently street has a first integral h equals 1, x plus y. On the line h equals const c the transformation has the form 1 x equals 1 x plus y equals 1 x plus c minus 1 x equals c minus 1 x display style frac 1 x equals left frac 1 x right plus y equals left frac 1 x right plus c frac 1 x equals c left frac 1 x right hence the invariant measure density of saint must be of the form f c d C D one X equals F one X plus Y one X two D X D Y Display style F C D C D F R A C one X equals F left F R A C one X plus Y right F R A C one X carrot two D X die with the account taken of the symmetry p x y equals p y x this becomes F C equals C minus two and hence after normalization its integration over X plus or X yields the function W X E Q seventy four the reduction of the transformation to the one-to-one -one mapping was used already by and they obtained a formula of the form of EQ. 79 grams but for other variables, their paper does not contain applications to the problems which are considered in, the correctness of EQ. 79 grams be verified also by a direct calculation, the Jacobian of the transformation EQ. 79 E is J equals X S plus 1 plus x s plus 1 minus x s plus x s minus equals x s plus 1 plus x s plus x s plus 1 minus x s minus equals x s plus 1 plus x s plus 2 Display style j equals frac partial left x underscore s plus one caret plus x underscore s plus one caret right partial left x underscore s caret plus x underscore s caret right equals frac partial x underscore s plus one caret plus partial x underscore s caret plus frac partial x underscore s plus one caret partial x underscore s caret equals left frac x underscore s plus one caret Plus x underscore s caret plus right caret two. 
In its calculation one must note that 1 x s plus plus 1 x s plus equals 1 x s plus Display style left one x underscore s carrot plus right plus left one x underscore s carrot plus right equals one x underscore s carrot plus. Since by eq seventy nine d delta s is expressed in terms of the random quantities x plus and x minus, the knowledge of their joint distribution makes it possible to calculate the statistical distribution p delta by integrating p x plus x minus over one of the variables at a constant value of delta. Due to symmetry of the function eq. 79 grams with respect to the variables x plus and x minus, p delta topic p 1 minus delta, i.e., the function p delta is symmetrical with respect to the point delta 1 half. Then p delta d delta equals d delta 0 1 p x plus x plus delta 1 minus delta x minus delta x plus d x plus Display style p delta d delta equals d delta int underscore zero caret one p left x caret plus frac x caret plus delta one delta right left frac partial x caret partial delta right underscore x caret plus dx caret plus. On evaluating this integral for zero delta one half and then making use of the aforementioned symmetry, finally, the mean value delta. Display style bar delta equals one half already as a result of the symmetry of the function p delta. Thus, the mean value of the initial in every era amplitude of oscillations of the functions alpha, beta, gamma increases as omega two. The statistical relation between large time intervals omega and the number of eras s contained in them is found by repeated application of eq. Seventy seven. Direct averaging of this equation, however, does not make sense, because of the slow decrease of function W K eq. 76, the average values of the quantity exp xi s are unstable in the above sense, the fluctuations increase even more rapidly than the mean value itself with increasing region of averaging. This instability is eliminated by taking the logarithm, the doubly logarithmic time interval, is expressed by the sum of quantities xi p which have a stable statistical distribution the mean value of tau is tau equals s xi display style bar tau equals s bar xi to calculate xi display style bar xi note that eq 77 can be rewritten as for the stationary distribution Lane x south equals lane x s minus one. Display style overline lane x underscore south equals overline lane x underscore s one. And in virtue of the symmetry of the function p delta, also lane delta south equals lane delta s plus 1 display style overline lane delta underscore south equals overline lane left delta underscore s plus 1 right hence she equals minus 2 lane x equals minus 2 0 1 west x lane x d x equals pi 2 6 lane 2 equals 
2.37 display style bar she equals minus 2 overline lane x equals minus 2 int underscore 0 carrot 1 west x lane x DX equals frac pi carrot 2 6 lane 2 equals 2.37 w x from EQ 74 thus which determines the mean doubly logarithmic time interval containing s successive eras. For large s the number of terms in the sum eq. 81 is large and according to general theorems of the ergodic theory the values of tau s are distributed around tau s display style overline tau underscore s according to gauss law with the density Calculation of the variance d tau is more complicated since not only the knowledge of she display style bar she and she two display style overline she caret two are needed, but also of the correlations she p she p display style overline she underscore p she underscore p prime the calculation can be simplified by rearranging the terms in the sum EQ. 81. By using EQ. 81A the sum can be rewritten as P equals 1 S she P equals lane P equals 1 S delta P 1 minus delta p plus 1 x p x p minus 1 equals lane p equals 1 s delta p 1 minus delta P X P minus one two plus lane X zero X south plus lane one minus delta one one minus delta S plus one display style sum underscore p equals one carrot s she underscore p equals lane prod underscore p equals one carrot s frac delta underscore p left one delta underscore p plus one right x underscore p x underscore p one equals lane prod underscore p equals one carrot s frac delta underscore p left one delta underscore p right x underscore p one carrot two plus lane frac x underscore zero Zero x underscore south plus lane frac one delta underscore one one delta underscore s plus one. The last two terms do not increase with increasing s. These terms can be omitted as the limiting laws for large s are dominating. Then, the expression eq. 79d for delta p is taken into account. To the same accuracy, i.e., up to the terms which do not increase with s, the equality is valid. Indeed, in virtue of EQ. 79E X P plus 1 plus plus 1 X P plus 1 minus equals 1 X P plus plus X P Minus display style x underscore p plus one caret plus plus frac one x underscore p plus one caret equals frac one x underscore p caret plus plus x underscore p caret, and hence lane one plus x p plus one plus x p plus 1 minus minus lane x p plus 1 
minus equals lane 1 plus x p plus x p minus minus lane x p plus Display style lane left one plus x underscore p plus one carrot plus x underscore p plus one carrot right lane x underscore p plus one carrot equals lane left one plus x underscore p carrot plus x underscore p carrot right lane x underscore p carrot plus by summing this identity over p e q eighty two c is obtained finally again with the same accuracy x p plus display style x underscore p caret plus is changed for x p under the summation sign and thus represent tau s as the variance of this sum in the limit of large s as it is taken into account that in virtue of the statistical homogeneity of the sequence x the correlations eta p eta p display style overline eta underscore p eta underscore p prime depend only on the differences p minus p the mean value eta equals she display style bar eta equals bar she the mean square eta 2 equals 4 0 1 west x lane 2 x d x equals 6 she 3 lane 2 equals 10.40 Display style overline eta carrot two equals four int underscore zero carrot one west x lane carrot two x dx equals frac six she three lane two equals ten point four zero. By taking into account also the values of correlations, eta zero eta p display style overline eta underscore zero eta underscore p with p equals 1 2 3 calculated numerically the final result d tau s equals 3.5 plus or minus 0.1 s is obtained with increasing s the relative fluctuation d tau s tau s display style d underscore tau underscore s overline tau underscore s tends to 0 as s minus 1 half in other words, the statistical relation EQ. 82 becomes almost certain at large s. This makes it possible to invert the relation, i.e., to represent it as the dependence of the average number of the errors s tau that are interchanged in a given interval tau of the double logarithmic time. The statistical distribution of the exact values of s tau around its average is also Gaussian with the variance d s tau equals 3.5 s tau 3 tau 2 equals 0 0.26 tau display style d underscore s underscore tau equals 3.5 frac overline s underscore tau caret 3 tau caret 2 equals 0 0.26 tau the respective statistical distribution is given by the same Gaussian distribution in which the random variable is now s tau at a given tau. From this point of view, the source of the statistical behavior is the arbitrariness in the choice of the starting point of the interval tau superimposed on the infinite sequence of the interchanging errors. Respective to matter density, eq. 79 can be rewritten with a count of eq. 80 in the form lane lane epsilon s plus 1 epsilon s equals eta s plus p equals 0 s minus 1 she p eta south equals lane 2 
delta s k s plus x s minus 1 omega 0 Display style lane lane frac var epsilon caret s plus one var epsilon caret s equals eta underscore s plus sum underscore p equals zero caret s one she underscore p quad eta underscore south equals lane left two delta caret s left k caret s plus x caret s minus one right omega caret zero right, and then for the total energy change during s eras. The term with the sum by p gives the main contribution to this expression because it contains an exponent with a large power. Leaving only this term and averaging eq. 87, one gets in its right-hand side the expression s xi s bar xi, which coincides with eq. 82. All other terms in the sum, also terms with eta s in their powers, lead only to corrections of a relative order one per second. Therefore, by virtue of the almost certain character of the relation between tau s and s eq, 88 can be written as lane lane epsilon tau epsilon 0 equals tau or lane lane epsilon s epsilon 0 equals 2.1 south display style overline lane lane left var epsilon underscore tau var epsilon caret 0 right equals tau quad text or quad overline lane lane left var epsilon caret s var epsilon caret 0 right equals 2 ones which determines the value of the double logarithm of density increase averaged by given double logarithmic time intervals tau or by a given number of eras s these stable statistical relationships exist specifically for doubly logarithmic time intervals and for the density increase. For other characteristics, e.g., lane epsilon s epsilon zero or omega s per ohm zero equals exp tau s, the relative fluctuation increase exponentially with the increase of the averaging range, thereby voiding the term mean value of a stable meaning. The origin of the statistical relationship eq. 88 can be traced already from the initial law governing the variation of the density during the individual Kastner epochs. According to EQ. 21, during the entire evolution we have lane lane epsilon t equals const plus lane omega plus lane 2 1 Minus p three t display style lane lane var epsilon t equals text const plus lane omega plus lane two one p underscore three t with one minus p three t changing from epoch to epoch, running through values in the interval from zero to one. The term lane omega equals lane lane 1 t increases monotonically on the other hand the term lane 2 1 minus p3 can assume large values comparable with lane omega only when values of p3 very close to unity appear ie very small p1 these are precisely the dangerous cases that disturb the regular course of evolution expressed by the recurrent relationships eqs 77 to 79 it remains to show that such cases actually do not arise that in the asymptotic limiting regime. The spontaneous evolution of the model starts with a certain instant at which definite initial conditions are specified in an arbitrary manner. Accordingly, by asymptotic is meant a regime sufficiently far away from the chosen initial instant. Dangerous cases are those in which excessively small values of the parameter u equals x and hence also, p1, approximately equals x appear at the end of an era. A criterion for selection of such cases is the inequality, where, alpha s, is the initial minima depth of the functions that oscillate in era s it would be more appropriate to choose the final amplitude, but that would only strengthen the selection criterion. The value of x zero in the first era is determined by the initial conditions. Dangerous are values in the interval delta x 0 tilde exp minus alpha 0 and also in intervals that could result in dangerous cases in the next eras 
In order for Xs to fall in the dangerous interval delta Xs tilde exp minus alpha s, the initial value x zero should lie into an interval of a width delta x zero tilde delta Xs k one squared k squared. Therefore, from a unit interval of all possible values of x zero, dangerous cases will appear in parts lambda of this interval. The inner sum is taken over all the values k one k two k's from 1 to infinity. It is easy to show that this error converges to the value lambda display style ll one whose order of magnitude is determined by the first term in eq. 90. This can be shown by a strong majoration of the error for which one substitutes alpha s topic s plus 1 alpha 0 regardless of the lengths of errors k 1 k 2 in fact, alpha s increase much faster, even in the most unfavorable case k one k two. Topic. One values of alpha s increases q s alpha zero with q greater than one, noting that k one. K one two K two two K S two equals Pi two six S Display style sum underscore K F R A C one K carrot one carrot two K carrot two carrot two dots K carrot S carrot two equals left pi carrot two six right carrot S one obtains Lambda equals EXP minus alpha zero S equals zero infinity Pi Two six exp minus alpha zero s approximately equals exp minus alpha zero Display style lambda equals exp left left alpha caret zero right right sum underscore s equals zero caret in a t left left pi caret two six right exp left left alpha caret zero right 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 caret s approximately exp left left alpha caret zero right right. If the initial value of x zero lies outside the dangerous region lambda, there will be no dangerous cases. If it lies inside this region dangerous cases occur, but upon their completion the model resumes a regular evolution with a new initial value which only occasionally with a probability lambda may come into the dangerous interval. Repeated dangerous cases occur with probabilities lambda 2, lambda 3. Asymptotically converging to zero. Topic. General solution with small oscillations. In the above models, metric evolution near the singularity is studied on the example of homogeneous space metrics. It is clear from the characteristic of this evolution that the analytic construction of the general solution for a singularity of such type should be made separately for each of the basic evolution components, for the Kastner epochs, for the process of transitions between epochs caused by perturbations, for long eras with two perturbations acting simultaneously. During a Kastner epoch, i.e. at small perturbations, the metric is given by EQ. 7 without the condition λ equals 0. BKL further developed a matter distribution independent model homogeneous or non-homogeneous for long era with small oscillations. The time dependence of this solution turns out to be very similar to that in the particular case of homogeneous models. The latter can be obtained from the distribution independent model by a special choice of the arbitrary functions contained in it. It is convenient, however, to construct the general solution in a system of coordinates somewhat different from synchronous reference frame, G0 alpha. Topic. 0 is in the synchronous frame, but instead of G00. One it is now G00 
topic minus g33 defining again the space metric tensor gab minus g ab1 has therefore the special space coordinate is written as x3 topic z and the time coordinate is written as x0 she as different from proper time t it will be shown that she corresponds to the same variable defined in homogeneous models differentiation by she and z is designated respectively by dot and prime Latin indices a, b, c take values 1, 2, corresponding to space coordinates x1, x2 which will be also written as x, y. Therefore, the metric is The required solution should satisfy the inequalities These conditions specify that one of the functions a2, b2, c2 is small compared to the other two which was also the case with homogeneous models. Inequality eq 94 means that components gamma a3 are small in the sense that at any ratio of the shifts dx a and dz, terms with products dx a dz can be omitted in the square of the spatial length element dl2. Therefore, the first approximation to a solution is a metric eq. 92 with gamma a3 equals 0. One can be easily convinced by calculating the Ricci tensor components. r 0 0 Display style r underscore zero caret zero r three zero display style r underscore three caret zero r three three display style r underscore three caret three r a b display style r underscore a caret b using metric eq. 95 and the condition eq. 93 that all terms containing derivatives by coordinates x a are small compared to terms with derivatives by xi and z their ratio is tilde gamma 33, gamma ab. In other words, to obtain the equations of the main approximation, gamma 33 and gamma ab in eq. 95 should be differentiated as if they do not depend on x a. Designating 1 obtains the following equations. Index raising and lowering is done here with the help of gamma ab. The quantities k display style var kappa and lambda are the contractions k a a display style var kappa underscore a caret a and lambda a a display style lambda underscore a caret a, whereby as to the Ricci tensor components r a 0 display style r underscore a caret 0 r a 3 display style r underscore a caret 3 by this calculation they are identically zero in the next approximation ie with account to small gamma a3 and derivatives by x y they determine the quantities gamma a3 by already known gamma 33 and gamma ab Contraction of EQ. 97 gives G plus G equals 0 Display style G caret prime prime plus D D O T G equals 0 and hence different cases are possible depending on the G variable. In the above case, G00 equals gamma 33. Display style GG gamma ab and n approximately equals G00 G2 minus gamma 33 G2 equals 4 gamma 33 F1 F2. Display style n approximately G caret 00 left dot G right caret 2 gamma caret 33 left G caret prime right caret 2 equals 4 gamma caret 33 dot F underscore 1 dot F underscore 2. The case n greater than zero, quantity n is time-like, leads to time singularities of interest. Substituting in eq. 101 f1 topic 1 half she plus z sin y f2 1 half she minus z sin y results in g of type this choice does not diminish the generality of conclusions it can be shown that generality is possible in the first approximation just on account of the remaining permissible transformations of variables. At n topic z which generalizes the well-known Einstein-Rosen metric. 
At n01 arrives at the Robinson Bondi wave metric that depends only on Xi plus Z or only on Xi minus Z. Cf. The factor sin y in EQ. 102 is put for convenient comparison with homogeneous models. Taking into account EQ. 102, equations 97, 99 become the principal equations or EQ. 103 defining the gamma ab components, then, function psi is found by a simple integration of EQs. 104, 105. The variable xi runs through the values from 0 to infinity. The solution of EQ. 103 is considered at two boundaries, xi display style gg 1 and display style ll 1. At large xi values, one can look for a solution that takes the form of a 1, square root xi decomposition, whereby equation 107 needs condition 102 to be true. Substituting eq. 103 in EQ, 106, 1 obtains in the first order, where quantities AAC constitute a matrix that is inverse to matrix AAC. The solution of EQ, 108 has the form, where la, ma, rho, are arbitrary functions of coordinates x, y bound by condition EQ, 110 derived from EQ, 107. To find higher terms of this decomposition, it is convenient to write the matrix of required quantities gamma ab in the form, where the symbol tilde means matrix transposition. Matrix H is symmetric and its trace is zero. Presentation EQ. 111 ensures symmetry of gamma ab and fulfillment of condition EQ. 102. If EXPH is substituted with 1, 1 obtains from EQ. 111 gamma ab. Topic. She AAB with AAB from EQ. 109. In other words, the first term of gamma ab decomposition corresponds to H. 0. Higher terms are obtained by powers decomposition of matrix H whose components are considered small. The independent components of matrix H are written as sigma and phi so that substituting EQ. 111 in EQ. 103 and leaving only terms linear by h, one derives for sigma and phi sigma plus she minus 1 sigma minus sigma equals 0 Display style d d o t sigma plus she caret minus 1 dot sigma sigma caret prime prime equals 0 if one tries to find a solution to these equations as Fourier series by the z-coordinate, then for the series coefficients, as functions of xi, one obtains Bessel equations. The major asymptotic terms of the solution at large xi are sigma equals 1 xi n equals minus infinity infinity of 1 N E I N Omega she plus B one N E minus I N Omega she E I N Omega Z Display style sigma equals frac 1 sqrt she sum underscore n equals in a t caret in a t left a underscore 1 n e caret in omega she plus b underscore 1 n e caret in omega she right e caret in omega z omega n 2 equals n 2 omega 2 plus Four row two display style omega underscore n caret two equals n caret two omega caret two plus four row caret two coefficients a and b are arbitrary complex functions of coordinates x, y, and satisfy the necessary conditions for real sigma and phi. The base frequency omega is an arbitrary real function of x, y. Now from EQS, 104, 105 it is easy to obtain the first term of the function psi. 
This term vanishes if rho topic 0 in this case the major term is the one linear for xi from the decomposition psi xi q x y where q is a positive function therefore at large xi values the components of the metric tensor gamma ab oscillate upon decreasing xi on the background of a slow decrease caused by the decreasing xi factor in eq 111 the component gamma 33 equals e psi decreases quickly by a law close to exp rho 2 xi 2. This makes it possible for condition eq. 93. Next bkl consider the case xi display style ll 1. The first approximation to a solution of eq. 103 is found by the assumption confirmed by the result that in these equations terms with derivatives by coordinates can be left out. This equation together with the condition eq. 102 gives where λ a, mu a, s1, s2 are arbitrary functions of all three coordinates x, y, z, which are related with other conditions. Equations 104, 105 give now the derivatives λ a, b, display style λ a caret b caret prime calculated by eq 118 contain terms tilde she fours 1 minus 2 and tilde she fours 2 minus 2 while terms left in eq 117 are tilde she minus 2 therefore application of eq 103 instead of eq 117 is permitted on conditions s1 greater than 0 s2 greater than 0 hence 1 minus s 1 2 minus s 2 2 display style s underscore 1 caret 2 s underscore 2 caret 2 greater than 0 thus at small she oscillations of functions gamma ab cease while function gamma 33 begins to increase at decreasing she this is a Kastner mode and when gamma 33 is compared to gamma ab the above approximation is not applicable in order to check the compatibility of this analysis, BKL studied the equations R alpha zero display style R underscore alpha caret zero equals zero R alpha three display style R underscore alpha caret three equals zero, and calculating from them the components gamma a three confirmed that the inequality eq 94 takes place. This study showed that in both asymptotic regions the components γA3 were tilde γ33. Therefore, correctness of inequality eq. 93 immediately implies correctness of inequality eq. 94. This solution contains, as it should be for the general case of a field in vacuum, four arbitrary functions of the three space coordinates x, y, z. In the region she display style ll one these functions are, e.g., lambda 1, lambda 2, mu 1, s1. In the region she display style gg, one the four functions are defined by the Fourier series by coordinate z from eq. 115 with coefficients that are functions of x, y, although Fourier series decomposition or integral characterizes a special class of functions, this class is large enough to encompass any finite subset of the set of all possible initial conditions. The solution contains also a number of other arbitrary functions of the coordinates x, y. Such two-dimensional arbitrary functions appear, generally speaking, because the relationships between three-dimensional functions in the solutions of the Einstein equations are differential and not algebraic, leaving aside the deeper problem about the geometric meaning of these functions. BKL did not calculate the number of independent two-dimensional functions because in this case it is hard to make unambiguous conclusions since the three-dimensional functions are defined by a set of two-dimensional functions cf. For more details, finally, BKL go on to show that the general solution contains the particular solution obtained above for homogeneous models. Substituting the basis vectors for Bianchi type 9 homogeneous space in EQ. 7 the spacetime metric of this model takes the form when c2 display style ll 
A2, B2, one can ignore C2 everywhere except in the term C2DZ2. To move from the synchronous frame used in EQ. 121 to a frame with conditions EQ. 91, the transformation DT equals CDC, 2 and substitution ZZ, 2 are done. Assuming also that chi lane A, B, display style LL, 1, 1 obtains from EQ. 121 in the first approximation. Similarly, with the basis vectors of Bianchi type 8 homogeneous space, one obtains According to the analysis of homogeneous spaces above, in both cases ab equals she simplifying a 0 2 display style a underscore 0 caret 2 equals she 0 and chi is from eq 51 function c she is given by formula eq 53 and eq 61, respectively, for models of type 6 and 8. Identical metric for type 8 is obtained from EQS. 112, 115, 116 choosing two-dimensional vectors Le and Ma in the form and substituting To obtain the metric for type 9, one should substitute for calculation of C she the approximation in EQ. 116 is not sufficient and the term in psi linear by she is calculated. This analysis was done for empty space. Including matter does not make the solution less general and does not change its qualitative characteristics. A limitation of great importance for the general solution is that all three dimensional functions contained in the metrics EQ 122 and EQ 123 should have a single and common characteristic change interval. Only this allows to approximate in the Einstein equations all metric spatial component derivatives with simple products of these components by a characteristic wave numbers which results in ordinary differential equations of the type obtained for the type 9 homogeneous model. This is the reason for the coincidence between homogeneous and general solutions. It follows that both type 9 model and its generalization contain an oscillatory mode with a single spatial scale of an arbitrary magnitude which is not selected among others by any physical conditions. However, it is known that in nonlinear systems with infinite degrees of freedom such mode is unstable and partially dissipates to smaller oscillations. In the general case of small perturbations with an arbitrary spectrum, there will always be some whose amplitudes will increase feeding upon the total process energy. As a result, a complicated picture arises of multi-scale movements with certain energy distribution and energy exchange between oscillations of different scales. It doesn't occur only in the case when the development of small-scale oscillations is impossible because of physical conditions. For the latter, some natural physical length must exist which determines the minimal scale at which energy exits from a system with dynamical degrees of freedom which, for example, occurs in a liquid with a certain viscosity. However, there is no innate physical scale for a gravitational field in vacuum, and, therefore, there is no impediment for the development of oscillations of arbitrarily small scales. Topic. Conclusions BKL describes singularities in the cosmologic solution of Einstein equations that have a complicated oscillatory character. Although these singularities have been studied primarily on spatially homogeneous models, there are convincing reasons to assume that singularities in the general solution of Einstein equations have the same characteristics. This circumstance makes the BKL model important for cosmology. A basis for such statement is the fact that the oscillatory mode in the approach to singularity is caused by the single perturbation that also causes instability in the generalized Kastner solution. A confirmation of the generality of the model is the analytic construction for long era with small oscillations. Although this latter behavior is not a necessary element of metric evolution close to the singularity, it has all principal qualitative properties, metric oscillation in two spatial dimensions and monotonous change in the third dimension with a certain perturbation of this mode at the end of some time interval. However, the transitions between Kastner epochs in the general case of non-homogeneous spatial metric have not been elucidated in details. The problem connected with the possible limitations upon space geometry caused by the singularity was left aside for further study. It is clear from the outset, however, that the original BKL model is applicable to both finite or infinite space, this is evidenced by the existence of oscillatory singularity models for both closed and open spacetimes. 
The oscillatory mode of the approach to singularity gives a new aspect to the term finiteness of time. Between any finite moment of the world time t and the moment t equals zero there is an infinite number of oscillations. In this sense, the process acquires an infinite character. Instead of time t, a more adequate variable for its description is lane t by which the process is extended to minus infinity. BKL consider metric evolution in the direction of decreasing time. The Einstein equations are symmetric in respect to the time sign so that a metric evolution in the direction of increasing time is equally possible. However, these two cases are fundamentally different because past and future are not equivalent in the physical sense. Future singularity can be physically meaningful only if it is possible at arbitrary initial conditions existing in a previous moment. Matter distribution and fields in some moment in the evolution of universe do not necessarily correspond to the specific conditions required for the existence of a given special solution to the Einstein equations. The choice of solutions corresponding to the real world is related to profound physical requirements which is impossible to find using only the existing relativity theory and which can be found as a result of future synthesis of physical theories. Thus, it may turn out that this choice singles out some special e isotropic, type of singularity. Nevertheless, it is more natural to assume that because of its general character, the oscillatory mode should be the main characteristic of the initial evolutionary stages. In this respect, of considerable interest is the property of the model, shown by Misner, related to propagation of light signals. In the isotropic model, a light horizon exists, meaning that for each moment of time, there is some longest distance, at which exchange of light signals and, thus, a causal connection, is impossible, the signal cannot reach such distances for the time since the singularity t equals zero. Signal propagation is determined by the equation ds topic zero in the isotropic model near the singularity t. Zero the interval element is ds2 equals dt2 2t d l 2 display style script style d bar l caret 2 where d l 2 display style script style d bar l caret 2 is a time independent spatial differential form Substituting t equals eta two halves yields the distance delta l display style script style bar l reached by the signal is since eta like t runs through values starting from zero up to the moment eta signals can propagate only at the distance delta l display style script style bar l Eta which fixes the farthest distance to the horizon. The existence of a light horizon in the isotropic model poses a problem in the understanding of the origin of the presently observed isotropy in the relic radiation. According to the isotropic model, the observed isotropy means isotropic properties of radiation that comes to the observer from such regions of space that cannot be causally connected with each other. The situation in the oscillatory evolution model near the singularity can be different. For example, in the homogeneous model for type 9 space, a signal is propagated in a direction in which for a long era, scales change by a law close to tilde t. The square of the distance element in this direction is dl2 equals t2 l2 and the respective element of the four-dimensional interval is ds2 equals dt2 minus t2 l Two display style script style bar l caret two. The substitution t equals e eta puts this in the form, and for the signal propagation, one has equation of the type eq. One hundred twenty eight again. The important difference is that the variable eta runs now through values starting from minus infinity. If metric eq one hundred twenty nine is valid for all t starting from t equals zero. Therefore, for each given moment. Eta are found intermediate intervals sufficient for the signal to cover each finite distance. In this way, during a long era a light horizon is opened in a given space direction. Although the duration of each long era is still finite, during the course of the world evolution eras change an infinite number of times in different space directions. 
This circumstance makes one expect that in this model a causal connection between events in the whole space is possible. Because of this property, Misner named this model Mixmaster Universe by a brand name of a dough blending machine. As time passes and one goes away from the singularity, the effect of matter on metric evolution, which was insignificant at the early stages of evolution, gradually increases and eventually becomes dominant. It can be expected that this effect will lead to a gradual isotropization of space as a result of which its characteristics come closer to the Friedman model which adequately describes the present state of the universe. Finally, BKL posed the problem about the feasibility of considering a singular state of a world with infinitely dense matter on the basis of the existing relativity theory. The physical application of the Einstein equations in their present form in these conditions can be made clear only in the process of a future synthesis of physical theories and in this sense the problem cannot be solved at present. It is important that the gravitational theory itself does not lose its logical cohesion i.e., does not lead to internal controversies at whatever matter densities. In other words, this theory is not limited by the conditions that it imposes, which could make logically inadmissible and controversial its application at very large densities. Limitations could, in principle, appear only as a result of factors that are external to the gravitational theory. This circumstance makes the study of singularities in cosmological models formally acceptable and necessary in the frame of existing theory. Topic. Notes Topic References, <references>